In this problem, we're given some numbers and we're being asked to find the geometric mean. Let's go ahead and go through it. Solution. So the general formula for the geometric mean is the following. So if we have a bunch of numbers, say x1, x2, all the way to xn, then the geometric mean is given by the following formula. So we'll say g for the geometric mean. And it's basically the nth root of the product of all of these numbers. So x1 times x2 times dot, 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 times xn. So here we have to figure out how many numbers we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in our case, it's going to be g is equal to the seventh root of, and then we just multiply you know, all of these numbers. So it'll be 3 times 5 times 6 times 6 times 7 times 10 times 12. Okay, so basically seven numbers, so you take the seventh root and you multiply them all. If you had 10 numbers, you'd take the tenth root. So this is equal to, so I'm going to multiply these numbers. We have um, 3 times 5 times 6 times 6 times 7 times 10 times 12. This is a very big number. This is the seventh root of 453 six zero zero so that would be the geometric mean now we just have to compute you know what this number is so you know back in the day um, people would use logarithms for this right they would take the log of both sides and simplify this uh, now we have calculators so what I'm gonna do is uh, since we no longer have to use you know logs and tables with logs we can write it as follows there's really a one here so it's one over seven and you can type this into most calculators. So this is approximately, uh, let's see, 453600 to the 1 over 7. So I get 6.43 roughly. So that would be uh, the geometric mean. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.